Hey there, welcome to the official Windows 7 channel and we are in another video on the series of understanding biases. And so, we are in the advanced functions and we are now into a function that's called Execute Disable Bit Capability. That's a tough one to explain. Um, execute Disable Bit Capability is an Intel only feature so it might not be available on all motherboards it is usually available mostly on Intel boards it's a security feature that is available on Intel boards execute disable bit it's an Intel hardware based security feature that can help reduce system exposure to viruses and malicious code. It is often abbreviated EDB and it allows the processor to classify areas in memory where application code cannot execute or can or cannot execute, sorry. So when for example a malicious worm attempts to insert code in the buffer the processor disables code execution and it prevents damage and worm propagation so it's really a security feature where a part of the memory of the RAM is protected against all sorts of viruses and worms by disabling if needed the execution of programs so it's a little complicated it's a little complex to explain um, it's some of the IN stuff in computers. To enable or execute uh, the disabled bit capability, you can see here it's enabled, uh, what you need is a processor that typically has that capability. So um, to know if your processor has that capability, you need to uh, check the serial number on your processor by Intel. Usually all the processors that have the letter J in them after the CPU model number um, have the execute disable bit. Some processors also have the EDB or XDB abbreviation next to the serial number of the processor which also means that execute disabled bit capability exists and uh, it's mostly I would say that this option is mostly used um, in uh, companies that want high security um, here it's enabled in my Toshiba um, means which means that it probably was always enabled and um, I've never actually seen how it could have worked for me. It depends a lot on what you're doing and probably depends a lot on how um, your software works for it to be um, enabled or disabled. So uh, that's a, a little tough one and uh, well in some very high security applications and um, companies that need higher security and the execution of the computer's code actually will want this uh, enabled in their computer. So it's Intel only and don't think that it means that your computer will never be infected by a virus. It is very specific to a type of software that you can use this capability and help the computer just use a part of that memory uh, and just keep it kind of locked down to make sure that if something happens nothing will uh, happen to that data that's in the, the RAM. So this is the uh, Windows 7 channel. Hope you enjoy these videos on the BIOS and explaining the BIOS. I try to explain it the best possible. If it's complicated or if you think there could be improvement, 
don't hesitate to let me know and we'll try to redo some of the videos if the explanation is not that good and of course if you're an expert and want to want to add more information on what we are explaining here uh, hey just put those comments in the section and explain it in your words if you thought that something was not well explained sometimes so thanks uh, for watching and you could click the subscribe button at the top of the screen if you want to uh, know when new videos are online we're in a series of uh, videos on the BIOS here and uh, hey hope you come back to the official Windows 8 channel uh, Windows 7 channel sorry uh, it's kind of getting mixed up with 7 and 8 so uh, bye bye and hope you come back to their channel